of their paintings here? Well, of course, we were very fortunate, and we have had a lovely collection here all the time. But uh, recently, we have had a small acquisition budget, and then we have friends who are helping us. And this uh, friend helping sort of thing uh, works by um, having outright gifts, and then some people give us undesignated money contributions, which we may then invest in things that we particularly want. And as you know, uh, the painting uh, situation has gotten almost out of hand uh, money-wise. Maybe you've been watching the prices, astronomical figures that some of the paintings get. So Ball State has been working on a fine graphics collection. And this is the place where we are really making headway. So you, pretty, uh, you try to confine it to a couple of areas there, then? Right. Uh, we can't really afford uh, sculpture and paintings, uh, generally. We have to have those given to us. Let's look at some of the recent acquisitions that we have here. Well, as you can tell by looking just all over this group, most of them are graphics, which means that we've either bought them or people have given us things in the graphics area. This first one um, is a very handsome woodcut of uh, Gauguin. And uh, Gauguin prints are rather comparatively rare. This one happens to be printed by his son because there were very few copies made by Gauguin himself. But the blocks are still extant, and his son has pulled a limited number of prints. The one on the floor there is... Uh, an etching by Brock, one of the really great Cubist artists. And this is a very fine print, one we've looked for for a long time and finally found at a price that we felt we could afford. Uh, the next one is a, an, an older uh, graphic, a uh, steel engraving, by a contemporary of Bruegel's and was done from one of Bruegel's paintings. Of course, it would be impossible for us to afford a Bruegel painting, but it has all of the excitement and surreal characteristics of a Bruegel painting. If you could take a second, this may sound like a naive question, to explain briefly what a graphic is for people who are, like me, not sure exactly what like, the difference between a graphic and an etching, for instance. Well, uh, an etching is a graphic. Right. Graphic is the large term, and etching is one of the smaller uh, categories under graphics. And you have uh, etchings, you have woodcuts, you have steel engravings, you have silk screen or serography as it's called now, and uh, this and lithographs. And these things can be done in more than one copy. And while most artists limit the number of copies they make, makes them more valuable. Uh, you do have more than one copy, and this co makes them more reasonable in price. They're still all considered originals, though. Huh? Right, yes, and most of them are printed by the artist himself. Okay. What's the next one we have uh, down here on the floor? Well, uh, this is a Pechstein woodcut and belongs to the German Expressionist group, and it's a very powerful uh, piece. And we didn't happen to have this, and this is one of those things we filled in with this year. Uh, all of these were bought with money that have come from our patrons' uh, contributions. And we're very proud to be able to have these things extra this year. Uh, the uh, sculpture on the stand is an outright gift that was given to us by Marie Lauk, who has been uh, in our legisla state legislature and whose brother did the piece. And her brother is... Father Lauk, who is uh, teaching, who teaches at Notre Dame in their art department, and he has a national reputation. We're very happy to have this added to our collection. And the uh, etching on the far wall is a gift by Mr. and Mrs. Edmund F. Ball, one of Picasso's, and we're very pleased be to have this because it is a particular kind of an etching. Uh, and uh, as you know, uh, Picasso is a, a great innovator with materials and techniques. And this is one of his more unusual 
uh, etchings.